Hallelujah, everybody. Let's give God praise today. Let's ask God for his blessing today upon the word of the Lord. Father, we just say thank you. Thank you, God, that you've brought us here, Lord God, in this worship service. And Father, as we've come to offer praises, God, you've prepared a word for your people. A word, Lord God, to speak to us even now in this season, Lord God, even on this day, this Good Friday. Father, we're asking God to speak to our spirits today through your word, through your servant, Lord God. Give him boldness and courage, Lord God, to declare what you have given to him to impart to your people. Holy Spirit, we're saying thank you even now that you are in full control, that you will uh, lead the speaker cover him lord god that you will guide him lord god into all truth that he may expose the truth to your people knowing that your truth will make us free so god we just say thank you even now lord god for this word coming lord god satan we bind you in your devices you have no power we rebuke the spirit of confusion even now and we declare that the word of the lord will have free course so god we say thank you today we receive your word our hearts are open we are ready to receive from you and we say thank Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on and give God praise today. Amen. Please welcome again for the proclamation of this gospel of Jesus Christ, our pastor, his eminence, Apostle Cecil Girardi. Let's clap our hands for the man of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. If this is your special day, shout hallelujah. Shout it one more time. Give the Lord a hand clap praise up in here. So that the devil will know we are still on the winning side. God bless you. You may be seated. My, 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 my. I don't know about you, but it's just good to be alive. Amen. 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 It's good to be alive. Mother Mitchell, we honor you again. Yeah. Amen. You put your hands together for her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Still going strong. Yeah, Amen. It would take us some time to tell you what she means to this ministry amen amen I'm, I'm from the old school so see with me I give respect and honor where respect and honor due amen oh glory hallelujah is everybody alright <laughs> amen I feel alright amen cause my eyes are on the lamb you know don't take your eyes off Amen. When we go to some of these uh, amusement parks and stuff, they call them magicians, you know them, and they're going to do all kind of tricks and all of that. But you, you watch, watch his hand, man. Watch his hand. Don't watch what he's saying. And watch the hand. Amen. So watch the lamb. Amen. Amen. I get all kind of blessing today. Praise the Lord. If I had somebody from the old school, they said, "Don't watch the knives of the market." Watch the sail of the fish. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus. All this crowd thing that's going on is for us to take our eyes off Jesus. I'll tell you time and time again what I was going to say we, but what those fellows used to do in Kingston when the, the people from the country parts come up with their stuff. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Amen. And the them little rude boys just to fight. Fight. You know, people love to watch a fight. Or mind their own business. Now you watch them fighting off and leave their little grip. It wasn't suitcases yet. And it was always brown in color. Sister Campbell sitting down there like she don't know. What, what is he speaking about? You know it. The brown grip. Amen. Amen, Pat Belgrave, you know, I have an idea what this is. But it's to leave the grip on God and watch fight. Inquisitive and by the time you know, Double take, triple take. Amen. And so it is with Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes. On Jesus. Greetings, 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 greetings. Amen. Bobby Aiken used to sing a song. Or it was a toots. I feel all right. Feel all right. Amen. I got my blessing when Deacon Campbell testified and he said it was a Friday night. Amen. In a little two by two storefront on Rogers Avenue. They ever take you to that church? Eh? I won't take it to the two churches. You mean none of them? Jeez. 
Amen. Got to take you where we're coming from. Amen. And Brother Campbell came there and he got saved. Now, if he alone got saved, it would have been worth everything. You're not even with me. Let me just preach and say now. <laughs> you with me, Clark? Amen. Look what God has done. Amen. I don't remember what kind of night it was that Sister Genevieve came in. Could have been Friday too. Amen. You understand? Thank you very much. Amen. Some of you only think you get paid on Friday night, but it's all right. Amen. We're in a good place. We're in a good place. Amen. And please remember tonight seven last words come and have a good time give god the day amen when the reverend said a while ago man he gave his whole life and we we can't even give a tour you, you know what i'm saying it's not right it's unreasonable amen we're not telling anybody to take off the job and lose the job and all that stuff them but, but work something out man amen we can work things out don't tell me i know we can work things out amen folks get quiet when you tell the truth but, but thank god i'm not the one who just said it's the truth that will make you free we know how to work things out amen praise the lord i grew up with some black women and they knew how to make do oh they make it work sir they make it work we never go to bed hungry my god God, they find something to make. They must be Chinese. They make soup from anything. Amen. <laughs> and the thing tastes good to you, does it? Just season it up. What is it? I don't know, but eat it. And just look at us now. Hey, man, we, we, listen, man. Ain't no time to grumble and complain now. Better than blessed. I said better than blessed amen 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 and we are living in a lovely time of history amen i think it was sister lalu spoke about tennessee and i'm sure you all watched it huh are you proud of those two black men 128 and 120 oh, man i'm so proud of them I'm, I'm like that okay amen i'm an old james brown man say it loud i'm black and i'm proud amen not proud when they walk around and mob people and rob people and all of that but i'm proud when they stand huh amen i'm gonna preach and go home that we can be back on time praise the lord but 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 i'm not amazed some of you are surprised surprise surprise three people were expelled or were supposed to be expelled three two black and one white but in the end we find two expelled and guess which two <laughs> don't don't guess any further <laughs> the woman said ah, baby guess what kind of baby said the boy said no guess again <laughs> amen praise the lord Woo! but everything's gonna be all right they are going through their good friday you miss that amen their sunday is coming can you imagine isn't there a scripture that said you all meant it for evil i wouldn't even know about them julians i'll say any julian i wouldn't know no no, no julian no, ask me about, no no you said julian oh, i'm going to tennessee god works in mysterious ways amen just live a little bit you're gonna hear about those two young men amen we're still hearing about martin luther king and malcolm x and all of that you're gonna hear about them julians in a minute amen amen i'm going to the book of saint luke's chapter 23 saint luke's gospel chapter 23 and one verse one verse and one verse send you home to eat your special meal whatever it is hot cross bun there used to be a lady used to be in this church her name was Ernesta benji but she ain't here no more because if she was here man i would just hurry up and preach because i know Never mind, July say St. Luke 23. I wish she had a sister or something that could pick up the slack, but she's a lonely girl. Amen, St. Luke chapter 23. Anybody love freedom all? Amen. You ain't gonna get me out of here. Uh-uh, I am not running. Verse 23. And they were, huh? What did I say? 23 and verse number 26 
And as they led him away, they laid all upon one Simon, a Cyrenian coming out of the country. And on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. That was the man Reverend Riley sang about a short while ago. Amen. And on him they laid the cross that he might bear it when? After. My time will be spent on a few words today. No cross, no crown. No cross, no crown. I'm sorry I'm stepping on somebody's toes. Because everywhere you turn now, you get, you find people tell you you can get this for nothing. Just saw seed in my ministry and oops, new house and new car and new everything. Hallelujah. Uh, you listen to any, most of these religious stations and everything lately, you don't have to do a blessed thing. Hallelujah. And they misinterpret. Jesus paid it all, so come for a free ride. But there is still a voice crying in this wilderness. No cross, no crown. Why do you think we have so many of these people, cunning people here and cunning people there? The something for nothing doctrine. Come to school, we have the teachers all over this place. Oh, you don't have to study. Just come at exam time, sit next to John or sit next to Jane. For they're good at it. And all you have to do is have good eyesight. I wish I had somebody from St. Vincent. Amen. Don't have to study anything now. Oh, there's an exam today. There's an exam so-and-so, but just come. Sit next to so-and-so. You lying demon. You better go study. You're going to fail. We, 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 we pray for all our students. And you hear us? We have that habit. We've been praying for our children. Amen. On a Sunday night when they have to go to school on Monday and all week to protect them. Woo! I brag with my ministers when I hang out with them. And I say this all the time. Mother Mitchell, they know all the lawyers and all the judges at the courthouse. I know them when we have meetings. Amen. They know them because every week they have to go down there to build their children. Amen. We walk the straight and narrow. But that's for another time. God, those children, brethren. Hold them tight just like they held you tightly. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's old fashioned but we never go to jail though. It's old fashioned but we can walk upright though. So what's our problem? No cross, no crown. Did I say that? So we were reminded just last week on Palm Sunday. How the multitude sang. Hosanna. Blessed is he that come. In the name of the Lord. You remember that? Today we are going to part two. In this three part saga. Last week was part one. Today good Friday by shock. Good Friday. Ah, not getting paid today but good Friday. My God thank God for good Friday. Now the time has arrived when. Another multitude led Jesus. They led him unto Pilate. You know the story. They led him there and they were accusing him. What was the accusation? Here is the man. He said he's a king. He's Christ the king. What? You arrest him for that? Hallelujah. We all know the story. I'm not going over it. Read your own Bible. But the next thing we know they shouted. Crucify him. Crucify him. What has he done? He said he's Jesus. The Christ. Crucify him. And that wimpo. Pilate. He gave the sentence that it should be. As they required. 
Oh, I really find no fault in him. Folks get warning. Listen, the Lord spoke to me. Have nothing to do with that man, but El Wimpo said, You have it like you want it. I wash my hands from it. But you see, anybody love, listen, the, the, I have a few domino players in here, you know, they're champions. And sometimes we will know just a little bit about the domino, you know. And, 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 and we watch them playing and we say, Why, why are you play that card? You know, we, we, we are always from the, from the balcony playing the game, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're from Guyana. You stay all over and watch what they play. He shouldn't play that. He shouldn't play, but just watch him, man. He got something going. Can you imagine when all this was happening and folks ask, where's God? Jesus. If he was really God, oh, calm down, right? He wouldn't do that, but just turn to somebody and say, just watch God. Just watch God. He's always working something out. And those of us that have our spiritual mirrors, when we're passing through some rough times, just watch God. He didn't bring us this far to leave us. You just watch God. He's working something out. Anybody know to trust him? Those of us that have been saved for a little while, we know that God is working something out. I don't know why I'm down the gambling lane today, but somebody said, don't play any dice game with God. God, he made the dice. He knows when it's going to come up six and when it's going to come up three. Don't gamble with God. So God is there working something out because the prophecies that are made, you know, have to be fulfilled. Come hell or I water. We can look at that with our own lives, you know. If God said you're going to make it, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna make it. If God said you're going to get there, you're going to get there. Woo, glory, hallelujah. I, I'm just floating nicely with God. For if he is in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. You don't mind if we get another word of encouragement today. Oh God, if Mum Cockett was here and I have one word, she does. So just press along, says. Just press along. Road may get rough and, and going may get tough. Hold on to God's unchanging. Oh, I wish I had somebody from the old church say, He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ. Never. Amen. Come on now. Don't, don't look at me funny. Sometimes we think this is failure. We can't do this. We can't do that. It's over. Witchcraft work around the left and witchcraft around the telly where they're from, you know. And they say, when you hear they come from so and so, you got to watch them, you know. Yes, but I know where my God came from. You can't touch the children of Almighty God. I hope somebody's listening by way of radio or streaming live or something to understand that no matter where you are, they can touch you. Hallelujah. Everything is working out for our good. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Is anybody with me? Ah, uh, so the, the man said, Look, you 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 go ahead, do what you think you should do with them now we remember there were two malefactors with him you remember the story and they were being led with jesus to be put to death by crucifixion horrible way to die can't just kill them ordinarily lord jesus amen come on christians we're gonna get up with it oh heavy our oh, hearts are on a on a good friday we, i don't know where you're from but where we are from you know even back in the jungle there man you have some you have some bad people where we are from you know that's where crime and all that stuff was created you know where we came from i don't know if i should include brother Jonah. maybe he just he doesn't want you to know but that's where we're from is our sister joy you covered amen and, and 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 but no matter how wild and terrible the people were you know good friday mother mitchell everybody playing anybody know i don't know <laughs> no, 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 no. i'm gonna i'm gonna go in jamaica sister harry no matter how wicked the people are everybody have a lp 
And every Sunday morning you hear a man saying, We thank you every month. Look at all the Jim Reeves fans. Everybody, you have to have that. You have to have that. Because Good Friday. Woo! Hallelujah. So no matter how terrible they were, on a Good Friday, everybody got holy. Rum shop the open that day. The man that cursed like a sailor up the hill. Man, Jim Reeves coming out of his window. St. Vincent too. All right, then I'm on good ground. So they were put to death there and, 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 and had to die by crucifixion. So whenever we think of Good Friday, man, it's a solemn time. Everybody behave well. The man who used to beat his wife every day of Good Friday, he sing praises to God. Holy day, holy day. So when we take a few hours off, man, even if we lose a few dollars, it's all right. It's special for us. If there's no Good Friday, as you heard before, they can't be no Easter Sunday. <laughs> Lord have mercy, I'm flying nice now. Anybody who they call it Susu now, which was partner back in our day, you can't show up at the banker's house to get a draw. Come on now. El Tifo. <laughs> Amen. You have to deposit and then you withdraw. Amen. We know people man go to the bank with a stick up thing, you know, and give the give the teller a note and she said, All right, wait, the coming, uh-huh. Policeman coming all over the place. Let us press one button. Come back to church. No cross, no crown. So these two men, and you know they were thieves already and all of that stuff. They were there and they were now arguing back and forth whether this was the Christ. You remember this? I love the story, you know so we have you know the deep interest now Let, let's narrow down before we go and, and 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 the bible is telling us about the sixth hour there was what darkness all over the earth what something is going on here all of a sudden the sun refused to shine something special is happening Ooh, glory to god I don't know if you are as observant as I am, but we're driving, driving to church today. And I said, Sister Riley, I said, it just, you look out, it's something. The truth. It's like, no. one, one, one fellow, he has an atheist friend and he's a Christian, you know. And the atheist guy, you know, as usual, is telling him there is no God. And all of that. So I said, let me tell you something. You have more faith than I have. Because if you can just say there's no God, you have a lot of faith. You'll, you'll catch it when you get home so we know that there's something that the sun refused to shine i'm glad i'm a christian i don't know about you i have nothing to be ashamed of let all the other people with all the other religions tell you about their god you tell me when your god called the sun to hide his face some preachers, preachers said it, ha it hit his face by an embarrassment. When the son saw what was happening to the SON, just pulls, can't look at it. Hold on to your, hold on to your Jesus, you hear me? Don't backslide now. And the Bible says the darkness was there until the ninth hour. That is three o'clock. Hence, you understand why we always commemorate the 12 noon to 3 service. All right? Amen. We're kind of just following this and we're stuck with it. So don't try to change us now. Are you with me? Amen. So this is going on. And, and, and the sun darkened the veil uh, and the veil of the temple rent. I'm hastening down. We're going to close a minute. Rent in two. No, you know, when the, we have to understand this, you know, man. Amen. Rent in the midst. There's a way being made for you and being made for me. I don't know about you, you know. I was talking to somebody this week and said, we, we ought to have a legal pride. Amen. Amen. Being humble, I mean, you shouldn't have any pride. Hallelujah. If I tell you, go deep and jump in Jordan with your old sore self. Don't bother expect me because I'm a child of God and all to complain your sore. You want to be healed, go jump. My pride tells me I should mix myself. I'm not touching your sore. Go jump. 
We have children of the Most High God. We must understand that the way was made for us. And that's where the two young men are coming from in Tennessee. We earn the right to be here. We're not begging you to be here. You can put us out of your man-made thing if you want. But who God bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had to I had to give some, some encouragement to the people in Florida, you know. Because we've been here for pretty close 20 years or whatever. And now the devil wants to come that we gonna run. I told the folks in Florida Church of God we don't run. Anybody run must be the devil. Stand still and see them. God is going to take care of his own. Yes, it's crucifixion time, but hold on, no man. Elisha yeah, always tell us, man, children and immature people shouldn't be in the workshop. Oh, God, you missed it. Hey, Amen. And every time I get there, I remember this, this pulpit. When Sister Riley around there and see my father doing all kind of chop the wood here and chop the wood here and throw that over there, she got nervous. I said, no, man, you watch him, man. He's the boss. You watch my father. This is what we had, and I don't care. We're not going to change it. The thing nice. He knew what he was doing. No Can I encourage you? No matter what you're going through on this Friday. Hold on. It can't be Friday all the time. <laughs> Very few jobs we have where they pay us before we work. Sometimes it's a weekly thing, sometimes a fortnight thing, sometimes a monthly thing, but work now. I tell you how many times I would lay down in my bed, man, and especially snow time. You tell King Stone about must go outside in snow. <laughs> and I have covers. Pull the covers, Riley. And every time I pull the covers, I go back to see Con Edison just flash before me. Get up, Riley. But I go because what? PD is coming. <sighs> Can I just tell you, hold on before I go to my seat. Hold on right now. Don't let go now. It's the plan of the enemy. It's last lap now. Look around. We don't need the Bible now. We've been reading it all this while. It's coming to pass. In the last days. We are in the last days. When I look in my own nice sunny Jamaica and see all the hell that's being raised there, I know it's last days. Huh? When you're stabbing a little 13 year old to death, last days. When a beautiful 19 year old girl gone into the bathroom and when you're going there, you see her hanging from the beam, it's last days. People playing all kind of games, Mother Mitchell, and, and don't can't read the signs of the times. Are you with me? Killing everywhere you turn. Last days. So let me get back to this. Hallelujah. Know that all that's happening and the sun dark and, and the veil and, and, and all of that stuff, the folks are realizing surely this this was a righteous man was. You missed it. We don't want to miss it. We want to hold on to what we have. Read on, Riley. Surely this was a, a righteous man. People begin, begin now smiting their chests and, and all of that kind of stuff. You're late. But I intentionally passed over a major part of this prophecy. There's a prophecy that, that's being fulfilled, you know, regarding Jesus as our Redeemer. <laughs> He had to walk this road for us to be delivered and redeemed, you know. He has to do it. He can't take a detour. For if you take a detour, that's not the Christ. And we don't want anybody to imagine that, well, I, I think it's an imitation, you know. So no, 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 no. He's going to walk the road that God said he would. He has to pay the price. This is not a backdoor deal. The world has to see so that in 2023, when we stand and say, I'm saved, we have grown to stand on Palmer. Jesus paid it 
all. People I know don't want people to know that they're Christians. Are you kidding me? Bought and paid for. Don't have to hide anymore. I've got the blood on me. When you talk like this, people say you show off and you boast and all that. No, we're not showing off. We're showing forth. Not going to run from your Obe worker. Not going to run from your witchcraft worker. No, 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 no. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. My God, I need to see the church of God standing where we ought to be standing. Man, sometimes when I see all little intelligent children, teachers, how they're behaving. We're embarrassed. Take the train sometimes at, at school, whatever you call it, they're going home from school. And you take the, this special time. And you take the train. And when you sit and you watch our children how they behave. And other people's children how they sit still and behave themselves. You wonder. Where did these beasts come from? Come on now. Come back to church. How do you think God feels? When he paid this price for us. And say, I'm sending you out there. You are my children. I'm your protection. I'm your guard. Your Lord Jesus, have mercy, my God. You have security when you walk. And you have to walk, walk with all that thing too. You have to play. Yeah, we have back it if the girl said. Amen. Amen. You, you, come on, man. Let them know. Look here. You can't touch me. Jesus walked the narrow way. I mean, Jesus fulfilled the prophecy, you know. I mean, from A to Z. So that when he went up, nobody could wonder if it was him. It's him. It's him suffering. It's him bleeding. It's him dying. Oh, glory to God. I don't want to make it. I don't want anybody to make it easy for him. Now give me no tranquilizer. I'm going to pay this price. Anybody ever thought of it as we, as we read the scripture and, and, and this passage over and over and over and over again? That Jesus had the freedom to walk away. His father didn't quote unquote have a gun to his head, you know. Uh -uh. That's why, that's why when he got to the place, brother Junior, he said, Father, if it's really possible, then don't let me go like this. But nevertheless, nevertheless, I'm a nevertheless child of God. Paid for you. You can't touch me. No other man can touch me. Not bragging, I'm bragging on God. None of them. I know that it exists. Wicked people are out there, but church of the living God. I'm crying out like John the Baptist. This is a voice crying in the wilderness. They can't touch you. For who God bless. The country and western singers have their songs always kind of heavy driving down the railroad track going to look for their girl and a train coming and hit them down and they don't get to see them or oh, travel 10 miles to walking to get there and when they get there they're so tired that they fall over and die or somebody took the girl oh i see you country and western people that's why you're so sad hmm but there's a song that said, man, I'm going to lift up and sing that song, man, unto the hills. From whence come my help? My help comes from the Lord. Don't be afraid. Sunday's coming, Lord, I can't wait. But you have to wait, Riley, because Saturday have to come after. Some of us want to reshuffle the thing, you know, and move Saturday out and just jump to Sunday. No, I wish I could point at somebody and tell your Sunday is coming. So let me get back to this Jesus thing. I said I lifted myself and dropped over there to come back. Because we have got to be redeemed. So go back with me now. He, Jesus is falsely convicted. Ordered to carry his cross to the place of crucifixion. Now there's no crucifixion. If there's no crucifixion, there'll be no redemption. 
So you have to be crucified. You, you, you with me up there? So the record tells us now that while Jesus was carrying his cross, he became faint because of the weight of the cross. He's doing this as man, okay? So he's walking by and he gets faint. Now no, watch this. And I promise we're going to close on this. Watch this. At that particular moment, this man is passing by. Going about his business. Oh, you're going to tell me. This is fixed, man. This is fixed, you understand? You know, in a family thing going on and, and, and they're raffling for a TV. And the man is raffling TV and guess who wins the TV? His wife. And you look at someone and say, that was fixed. Ha <laughs> ha, God Almighty. I love it. All of a sudden, at that particular moment, this man just, just seemed to be passing by. A man named Simon. Do you know where far Simon come from? Simon come from a place in Africa, you know. Called Cyrene. And, and, and God worked the thing out. Worked the thing out. That he come down to Jerusalem. where And, and he's worshipping down there. You know, many, many think he's a Jew. But he's a follower of Jesus Christ. And the Jews know him. I could just go home now. All of a sudden. Where did he come from? He just popped up. You know my God. Who is working on our behalf. You, how many times you don't even understand and i don't care to know either you know many times sometimes danger lurking around the corner for you and for me and we don't even know god fly the trap i can't be bothered with you you know hey, you know many times gunmen must have set up to catch you and to catch me and just as we come maybe a crowd just walk by and the gunman said no yuck yes i'm overshadowed by but less up, huh? you know many times trucks and all of that stuff devil set it up you know and say listen he's gonna cross linden and albany at nine o'clock and and, and and i get all flat <laughs> you can stay there and curse god when you get a delay huh you know many times i'm driving to church here man i should close my eyes and tell my car where to go huh? and then when i find myself i, I i'm supposed to turn down brooklyn i'm gonna clear over so I mean, thank you, Lord. Huh? All of a sudden, this man, this man named Simon, ju just appear. And, 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 and then no, we, we study his name. Who is this Simon? I said, Well, we don't know him. Some of us know him, but, but, but we know his name means hearkening. We know his name means to listen. We know his name means obedient. You can go on and talk about superstition and all of them things. And it just appear. Yeah, I will live with that every time. So watch this. Simon now is, is commanded to carry the cross, right? And we all know, if you're going to carry the cross, you have to be listening. You have to be obedient. Wow, what a, what a coincidence. Let me live on coincidence like that until Jesus comes. It's all working out for you. And it's all working out for me. God is in charge. Oh, you think it's just an Old Testament thing? Before your mother, not you, our. Before our mother met the father. God worked it out. While you were in there, God said, I'm, I was working out something for you. What do you think? You, you people are not as revolutionary as I'd like you to be. I want you to point at somebody and say, I'm no mistake. I'm Tell somebody, I'm no mistake. God brought me here for a reason. And he's not going to take me out until I finish what he brought me here for. I'm here for a purpose. I'm a man on a mission. Come on, man, know thyself. Rastafarian from my neighborhood. Know yourself. Woo! Glory to God. A young boy, 19 years old, man said, Look, man, I'm going to serve my country. I'm going to be a policeman and then I'm going to be commissioner because I know the way to be commissioner. Just walk the straight line and be honest and do the right thing and you'll be commissioner. That's me. Not knowing what God had in mind. He said, I'm sending you in here, you know, to get some discipline and all of that stuff, but I don't want to just steer you. What? I don't want to leave you, man. I'm, I'm a record-breaking man with stripes and all of that. God said, and he worked. That's not just me. That's for you too. 
Look what God. Take, take, take a look in your own mirror. Do you think God didn't know what he was doing? Huh? You go through here, you go through there, and, and you said, Oh, I'm not going over there. And you find yourself over there and, and all of that stuff. Look where God brought us from. That's why sometimes it's kind of be in my heart, you know. Uh, song leaders are testify, 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 virgin. No, but we have, we have a testimony. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Are you with me? My God, my God. 19, 20 year old boy. I'll carry you when I go to Jamaica. I'll carry you right on the spot at South Camp Road and Victoria Avenue June. I'll carry them over there, right? Uh, right by Palace Theater. Going out there and duty and two boys come and, and have guns. And we didn't even know they have guns. And let them, Lord Jesus have mercy. And we hear that it's some noise here and they run away. And when we go back to our inspector and tell him and say, you know that the boy thought they have gone and you know shoot them. But all that is all right. God was worried. Look at me now. Amen. Crying out and tell, telling people, come see a man. Amen. This is Jesus. Amen. Oh God, I'm closing. I'm a time I close already. I'm Baptist now, you know. Amen. Hearken, listen, and please understand. Let me let, let, let me tell you all this. No, we all know this, you know. The flesh is always not ready to carry the cross. The heart will be willing to carry the cross, but the flesh, nah, you, you gotta push it. Are you following me now? This is where I'm landing. If you listen to my engine, so here it is. He's compelled to carry the cross. And they compelled the man to carry the cross. Not out of pity for Jesus, you know. They were not feeling sorry for him because he's not traveling fast enough. And they wanted to get him. No, 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 no. They didn't want him to die on the way. Why? Because he must die by crucifixion. You, you see how God working out the whole thing? You think they sympathize with Jesus? No man could have stumbled and fallen until Jesus. Until the other Jesus comes. Because they were looking for another Messiah but all right so he must die by way of crucifixion must go be, uh, be crucified and must pay the price like that so it is obvious now that we are we are there not wanting to carry the cross they actually force simon they constrain him to carry the cross because in those days it was a shame you have to read these kind of things. it was a shame for anybody to carry a cross on the street so he would not do that willingly but hear this now. Simon's carrying that cross. Is a picture of the work of the church. Folks not going to like this. The church is the cross bearer. After Jesus. Carry the cross after him. Yeah. The church. You and me. It's our time now. To carry the cross. No cross. No crown. Carry a cross. The old song they don't sing anymore. Must Jesus? What was that night? No, there's a cross for me. The man told us a few months ago. If we want to follow Jesus, Jesus laid it down straight. If any man, any man, any man, any man, they must take up your cross. That's the problem with the church. We don't want to carry the cross, Mother Mitchell. We want everything easy. Folks don't even want to work anymore. Because we know the system. And we can get through the system. We now must carry the cross. We are the Simon. The church of God is the new Simon. And when we carry the cross. Understand the whole thing. It's not really our cross. Technically no. It's the cross of Jesus. So when you're carrying the cross next time, man, I, I, listen, understand, nobody's trying to kill you. God is not trying to kill you. We studied the thing and we know it. some of us been there, done that. Some of us going through some hell right now. And we're thinking that God is repaying us for what we did 99 years ago. 
junk teaching. Jesus paid for that. So I might as well rewind. I was planning whether or not. Amen. Does anybody know the devil? I worked for him a long while and I wasn't born saved. He will bring the thing back up to us. Curtain. And say the reason why you're going through this is because you did do that. All right, God, I'll stretch it. God says stretch it. Some of us believe, the devil make us believe, you're going through this not because you did it, but your grandfather did it. Junk. Jesus paid all. Paid it with his own life. That's why his blood was shell. You didn't dear man. Not carry any burden because your grandfather killed somebody. So my grandmother rob your sheep or your goat. I'm not carrying that burden at the cross. There was a cross that I went to and lay all of my burden free at last. Thank God Almighty, Church of God, we are free. Fly away now. Jesus made it. The cross that we are carrying now is the cross of Jesus Christ. And no cross, no crown. You want to wear a crown like Jesus? You have to carry cross like Jesus. Jesus had power to call angels that he wouldn't go through death, but he wouldn't get the crown. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Jesus bore the cross not for us to escape it but for us to endure it. Uh, if I had some more time man, I would push and tell you the study now and the, the cross. Oh glory, hallelujah. The part that Simon carried was not the heavy part. Jesus, Pat Belgrave, carried the heavy part and Simon just lifted up the back. And carried. God is not asking you, not asking me to carry the heavy part. That's why we say it's his cross. He's carrying. We just have to do it. It's so the system set. You want you want certificate and, and all that stuff. Graduation, and you never take the class. <laughs> Coming up on top about well, well, I'm here. I used to cast out devils in the name. No, we we, we, we which 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 cross did you bear? Have you ever been lied on? Have you ever been cheated? Have you ever been talked about? Have you ever been mistreated? You easy life thing, you let them fool you on TV or radio that you don't have to do anything. You must carry a cross. Jesus did not suffer that we wouldn't suffer. Are you with me? Amen. We we must suffer something. We must pay the price of something. Cross here, cross there. Some people think life is just one big heavy perpetual cross. Oh, don't lift your hand now. Everywhere we turn is like a cross. Here a cross, there a cross, everywhere a cross, cross. Cross physical. Cross mental. Cross spiritual. Oh Jesus. It's a cross. But carry it until Sunday's coming. Can't be Friday all the time. Oh. We bear it day by day. Sometimes we wonder if God is still with us. Don't feel bad. Jesus said, My Father, my Father, why hast thou forsaken? Because you, you, you're not with me. Why I'm going through this? God said to tell you in freedom all today. He's still with you. If he said he's not going to leave you. He's not going to leave you. No matter how heavy the cross seem. Amen. Carry the cross man. Carry the cross. Cross bearing goes before crown wearing. Are you with me? Lord have mercy. Every now and then I look at graduation day. I must take my seat. Jesus is saying to you like he said to Simon. He's saying to me like he said to Simon. 
you come with me i'm with you don't that sound just like jesus he'll carry the heavier burden and he's saying to you and he's saying to me no man carry day by day carry day by day the apostle tell us for our light affliction which is just for a moment work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory no cross no crown be on my child be on carry on riley for the hot of the battle is the sweet of the victory sunday is coming but you have got to wait for it wait a while no man wait a while the cross that we are carrying man it, 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 it has something at the end the partner that we're paying and the money is so hard to get each week or each month. File it and pay it, no man. For a draw coming. See? And you remember you set up all your plans when you get your partner draw. Talk to me. God said just encourage the brethren. Just encourage them. No cross, no crown. Anybody wear, want to wear a crown? Anybody looking forward to a crown? Now don't give up the cross now. All the way to Calvary. He could have called 10,000 angels. But it must be paid up in full. And God said to remind the people. Carry your cross. Until Jesus comes. I will go to my seat. one more time for the word of God no cross come on say it with me no cross no crown amen and we thank God that he is carrying he is carrying even the heavier part what a word were you blessed by the word today amen he's called us to carry it but he is carrying the heavier part we just have to make the decision to carry it with him amen Amen. Amen. For those that are here in the sanctuary, and even those that are watching, whether by TV or live stream, we're inviting you to pick up this cross with Jesus today. You know, we know it might seem a little bit difficult, might seem hard from day to day, but we were encouraged today that Jesus is carrying the heavier part so we can do it with God trying to make our life work trying to make things happen for ourselves but what is impossible with man is possible with God if you're making that decision today why don't you just pray this simple prayer with me Lord I'm coming to you to pick up the cross that you've left behind knowing that you will walk with me so wash me from my sins cleanse me of my unrighteousness make up the difference in my life and I promise to walk with you and carry the cross that you told me to carry if you prayed that prayer today we believe that God has heard you we believe that that prayer of faith was heard by God and your life is changed for the better and we're binding every enemy that will whisper any doubt whisper any shame whisper any guilt in your ears today if you made that decision and said it by faith, the job is completed and Christ is in your life forever. Backslider, we are inviting you to turn around as well. You walk with him. You had the cross on your shoulder and you dropped it for whatever reason. Today is the day to turn around and pick up that cross and start that work all over again. That's all right. He's with you. He's waiting for you to turn around right where you are. Just pray that simple prayer again. Lord, I, I know you. I've walked with you. I've, I've walked with you with this cross before. But for whatever reason, whatever distraction, I separated myself. I'm coming home today. Wash me. Cleanse me. Put me back together. And put away shame and guilt so I can worship you freely. If you pray that prayer, we believe that God has heard you. 
No matter how far gone you may Where think you are, his blood is still effectual and it covers any amount of distance that we can create. Every believer in the house, we're just saying thank you to our God. Understanding the cross that we are ought to carry, but appreciating the fact that he is helping us carry it from day to day. Right where you are, wherever we are, why don't we just pray this prayer of faith? Amen. A word of thank you for the cross and for the blood that still prevails. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We honor you, God, for this day that you've blessed us with, this special day, this day of commemoration, this day of celebration, Lord God. A day where we can acknowledge your sacrifice, the sacrifice that allows us to live even today. We say thank you, God. We say thank you, God. It could have been otherwise minded. We could have been something else. We could have been somewhere else. But your divine purpose has made it so that we have made it to this point. And we say thank you. And Father, even as we've heard the word, we say thank you for your vessel that you prepared for this moment. We thank you, Lord God, for his obedience to the word. And even as he's poured out of what you've poured into him, Father, we pray that you continue to pour into him, Lord God, that he might continue to encourage and strengthen those that remain, particularly with the challenge that we've been given today to carry the cross, though it may seem heavy, though it may seem difficult from day to day, you've made us a promise that you will walk with us and that you will carry the heavy part so that we can make it. So Father God, bless those that are coming for salvation today. Bless those that are coming back from a backslidden state today. Father, we, are, we know that heaven is rejoicing over them and we are rejoicing as well. Father, we pray that you continue to encourage them and motivate them to do this from day to day and understand that whatever seems impossible through the flesh, assure them it is possible with you. We bind shame and guilt, whatever that might creep up into the mind that might separate the connection you've established today. And Father, every believer, we are saying thank you once more. We are conscious, we are ever conscious of your sacrifice. But today, on this special day, we are even reminded more of what you have done for us and what you are continuing to do in our lives. And we say thank you collectively. Bless us even as we continue to celebrate this day, as we continue to look forward even to Sunday, the great resurrection Sunday where the work is completed. We say thank you, God, once again. And the church says, amen, amen, amen. Look at someone and say, no cross. Come on, say again, no cross, no crown. Man, let's clap our hands one more time as we have our seats. Amen. We were blessed by the word today.